Hello, SMP students. So nice to see you. And today we're going to talk about a composer who wrote a very, very famous piece of music. That's a whole bunch of little songs put together. If you look in your learning package that you took home or that your teacher sent to you, you're going to find a music activity about the Carnival of the Animals. They're very fun. And I've also included some of the links to some of the songs. And next week you will get some more. So this is the story of Carnival of the Animals. It's not so much a story as a description of why the composer decided to write this music. His name was Camille Saint-Saëns, and he's a very famous French composer who was born about 150 years ago. That's older than your grandparents. That's older than me for sure. Although Saint-Saëns was a very serious composer, he also liked a really good joke. Do you like a really good joke? I know I do. That's why when his students at a music school asked him to write a musical joke for them, he wrote the Carnival of the Animals. People enjoyed his joke so much that it has now become one of his most famous pieces of music. Here are the animals that you will spy and hear in his music. Do you see the big tortoise there? Go look on this page. Do you see any unusual animals? Saint Saw chose the instruments to play his musical carnival very carefully. He wanted each of the animals to have their own special music. So, here is the orchestra he chose, playing the Carnival of the Animals. The musicians are dressed up for the concert. The players sit in a half circle so they can all see the conductor, and the conductor is in charge of the orchestra. He waves his baton to make sure that everyone plays in time for the Royal March of the Lion. And when you listen to this piece of music, the orchestra is calling our attention. The music begins and it gets louder and louder. Who is arriving? It's the lion. The strings are playing the lion's marching tune as he walks proudly around his kingdom. Sometimes he roars loudly. Can you roar? And then sometimes you can hear the pianos playing the lion's roar. Do you think the other animals are frightened of him? Now the music grows quiet as the lion pauses for a moment to watch over his kingdom. And then he roars again one final time before he strides off. I'm going to play you the music of the Royal March of the Lions. And I want you to see if you can listen to when the instruments make his roar. <laughs> 